I have no idea how hot this is going to be. I'm just going to die. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Marburg. Something smells amazing coming from this shop. It's called Las Havish. I'm going to definitely check that out. And there's a queue. So it's got to be good. Oh man, we've been allowed backstage a little bit. He's working so hard, Pravesh. So I'm not sure what everything is. The queues are out the door for the surf. He has to just keep replacing it. In with my noodles. Quickly in the water. Bit of a toss. And a little bit of sauce. A little bit of another sauce. Pepper. Pepper. And then the good stuff. Oh wow. wow! A little greenery on top, and of course fish this soup. fish soup. Oh wow! Look how beautiful that is. Red. Oh man! Well, whatever you think it's got. Oh, and you can, you got a whole bunch of them. So a couple on the edge of the plate, just to give you that little extra extra. Amazing. Pravesh, expertly. How many of these do you make a day? 300 to 400. 3 to 400. Wow. I mean, the queues are through. I'm actually slowing up his business at the moment because that's how many people are, are now queuing up outside because I'm doing too much video. So a little bit of seafood, a little bit of mix. Oh, wow. And then of course the fish soup. Perfect. Thank you, Pravesh. Rick, I'm still recording. Look how much you get. <laughs> um, the place is really nice. So there's a place at the back that you can sit and eat. Cheers. And it's packed. Cheers. So we got our juice. I'm getting esky for the first time. Oh, yeah. I haven't actually tried the esky one. Got Ricky a Fanta. Cheers, everyone. Absolutely amazing. I'm not sure all that's in here, but it's seafood and these are boiled noodles. So you get all that lovely sauce. Mm. I have no idea how hot this is going to be. I'm just going to die. Hot. Mm. Mm. Incredible, there's like a depth of tomatoey, spicy, a really lovely broth, like amazing. And the noodles just perfectly cooked. Mm. Mm. Good. Mm. <laughs> you brought me some of the fish soup. Oh, wow. In a whole bowl with a nice big spoon. Oh wow. Yeah, the man oh, is his bro. But that's what it is. It's a fishing village, Marburg, on the sea. They know how to make proper fish soup. Oh wow. I've still got this to go through, but I think I might just be sitting and drinking this the whole time. Started. Oh man. Yeah, it's a starter. Mm -hmm. oh, I like that. <laughs> Is it hot? It's hot, very hot. Very hot red chili. Look at the big bowl of it. Oh man. So I'm taking a little bit on my spoon so I can add it so that Ricky doesn't get it only when I eat it. Awesome. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Just a smidge on my spoon and into the soup. So I'm not sure about Marburg yet. But yes, they make the red chili hot. <laughs> It looks amazing. Oh man, surf, surf in Mauritius, if you can get it, that is without doubt one of the best things to eat. It just feels right, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Ricky will pull the lamb, pull the 
deer apart where their fingers are so soft. Oh, amazing. And the flavor is so... Oh man, I wish I could describe flavors. Mm. <laughs> Rich, meaty, and yum. Oh man, wow. Chinese and um, Indian fusion, quite unique, very savory, amazing broth. I think that's um, tofu. Mm. Soft. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not that, sure one, that one is. Not shishi. Ooh, shishi. Okay. I think the tofu tastes like um, fish a bit. The fish tofu. Mm. <laughs> shishi. Thanks, <for> that. <laughs> <laughs> Sheep liver taste. Oh, something to taste. Which is this? Sheep liver. Sheep liver. Sheep liver. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Thank you so much. We're getting so many samples. The sheep's liver. Oh wow. Mm. It's good. Whatever sauce they're using, these guys are sauce masters. I'm going to say I can improve on this. That special red chili of theirs. Oh man. Bang on. Mm. This is the bowl of a little bit of everything. Oh wow, it is massive. Sweating, yeah. <laughs> you don't need much of it. No, no, it's really hot. <laughs> but also on the table, you do have the regular fresh green chili. I didn't try that. <laughs> the green chili was sniffing. I can see. <laughs> oh man. TikTok's hazardous to your health. I took a big mouthful, but because of the chili, my nose is blocked. I couldn't breathe. <laughs> Nearly died. <laughs> <laughs> the things we do. Let's get back in there. Look who we ran into. Friends of the food factory. Reef conservation. Reef for life. Reef for life. Reef for life. Reef for life. Hi guys, enjoying it here? They said they love Thank it. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at their bowls, Rick. Show their bowls. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you it's empty. They ate it all. No worries, he, he's, he's not done yet. Yeah. <laughs> he's still got lots. <laughs> Here we are, Bez Pravesh, and there's the number. Thank you so much. Yeah, we actually had a walking billboard. He starts at 10 in the morning. And finish at 2, 3 o'clock. We are there. And there we go with the pricing. Everything is simple. Pick it and eat it. Every day he's busy like this. Crazy. And you can see he also does these specialty cook things. Pravesh, what is zero? It's a seafood. It's a seafood. Oh, small shell. Small shelled seafood. Awesome. Wow. This is the Marburg waterfront. We have actually been here before. And it's very windy. We'll put a card, but the we'll memorial put a card. is we there. We some ice. And we did a whole history tour, but we missed something. So Sorry. we're going back to see a little bit of history and then go explore the rest of Marburg. So according to the Heritage app, there's a powder magazine right near us. On the end of that piece there. Shout out to the Heritage app. Got Show a whole them. map. Yeah. Have a look at all that stuff. And each one actually tells you stuff. It tells you all the information about it. How cool is this? And open to public free. And loads of details on this app. So you can download it, we'll put a link. And I think this is where the market is, but it's only on a Monday and today is not a Monday. We need to come back on a Monday, Rick. Aha, we will. Marburg's a big place to explore. It's also full of one ways. <laughs> it's also full of Monument for the abolition of slavery, monument in the memory of British soldiers. Wow. But where's the powder mill? It should be at the end of this road, uh, which is like another cannon point. Let's see. Yeah. History of Arts and Culture. Maybe they're hiding a powder mill. Point Cannon Theatre. Ha! Huh. Well, there you go. Found a cool piece of history. It did, but it says 1826 and it was here in 1810. Maybe they renovated a bit. Hey, that's just ancient graffiti. Ancient graffiti. <laughs> What did I tell you? Of course we found it. Well, you saw that on Ricky's footage. 
but it is solid walls. I mean, if you look at this, this piece is a battlement that holds it together. I'll show you around the corner in a second. This is probably a door now being sealed up with stone. So not original stone there, but good old original stone here. But I'm going to take you around because on the other side, there's a window. Oh guys, it's not actually a window, unfortunately. It's a slot, but it has been sealed up on the inside. In 1810, when the French ships were coming in here to attack the uh, Grand Port, there was a gun that used to fire at them. Just one gun. And by gun, they mean a cannon. I'm sure they meant cannon, <laughs> not a guy with a pistol. Anyway, while we're here, this is an uh, atrium, auditorium, an amphitheater. amphitheater. <laughs> this is an amphitheater. What a gorgeous location. This is a monument to the abolishment of slavery. There's a door, so I'll lift you over. We'll see what we can see. This is the auditorium. Looks quite massive from the outside. Not sure what it looks like from the inside. There's a famous island there. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. You can actually go there by private boat, I think. Go there by private boat. Red roofed house thing. I think this is an Indian almond, but it's like the biggest one I've ever seen. Yeah, it looks incredibly big. The tree looks right. It does. But the flat is massive. <laughs> I need a brick. Oh, I have one. Yep. I don't think it's an Indian almond. Yeah, maybe not. Sad day. You and your little bug. Oh, you found my bug. <laughs> it's a pretty cool place. This tree has these things, but then they go black and they taste alright for a few seconds and then they do something strange to your mouth. Like put needles in your tongue. <laughs> Don't eat them. Let's go check out the monument to the memory of British soldiers. Um eh. Yeah. Well, yep, we remember you. Well yeah, remembered, but... guys. <laughs> and there's actually a traffic light in Marburg. Yeah, and people who just walk across Completely the road. Completely ignore it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. There's a few restaurants and things. This looks like a little bit more of the touristy part, I suppose. You think this is the tourist area? I think so. There's some holiday accommodation and quite a few fancy restaurants. Yeah. Okay, not seen directly here, but <laughs> it's in here at all. Nice it's quite spaced it. out. Yeah. Difficult to get a whole handle on Marburg. Or exactly where we are in Marburg. Yeah, but it's pretty grid pattern, so yeah, we were looking for a church at one point. I think that must yes, be. Yes, yes, we we're supposed to there's a big church. That looks pretty big. We have finally found a church. Oh wow, yeah, no, that is that's a big really church. Really big church. Wow, it's beautiful. Let's go see if we can take you guys inside. This is the second Catholic church to be built after uh, St. Louis and Port Louis. But it actually wasn't built here. It was built over there in Grand Port and they moved it here in 1806 actually moved it. I'm not sure which part because it seems like they're different parts of it. I wonder if you can go in. <laughs> oh my word, that ceiling is one of the most impressive I have seen. It is huge. There are even sculptures on the end pieces. Wow. Oh wow, that has got to be the biggest stained glass window in Mauritius. And there's actually two of them, there's another one on the other side. Wow, I wonder what this thing is, it's all shiny and, and I don't know. But it has a key, so you can open it and there's something inside. Churches we normally see this like cut out of Mauritian stone. But this is actually marble, it means it probably was imported. Wow. And look at the brass of the the door, and then the altar also made out of marble. What you got there, Rick? Is it like material or something? Covering things, maybe when they're disturbing. Ah, maybe. Amazing art in this place. Uh huh. 
magnificent piece of old Creole architecture. Gorgeous marble works. But they knew. Must look lovely with a with French panties on flower. So we just left the church, driving down the I think this is the main street. I would say this was the main street. Oh, there's a Save March here. Yeah? Save March shopping centre. No, this is turning into a bit of a driving vlog, guys. Yeah, because Marburg's really big. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I mean, you can see lots of snacks and shops and things on the side. Surprisingly, a lot closed. A lot are closed. A lot more than normal villages. He's got tons of uh, snacks on the side there. Okay. But this looks yeah, like no, a, a lot of stuff is, is closed and it's weird because it's not a weekend or anything like no, that. No, it's they shouldn't be closed. It's hmm. I don't know, maybe the tourists aren't coming back here, but I don't think this is a tourist town in a big way. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Although there's a lot of signage and everything. What's he selling? There's tomatoes. Those are tomatoes, I wonder how much they are. Oh, there's a car in right Buying tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We must grow them. Just too big to have a walk down. Guest yeah, house and yeah. restaurants. So you're gonna have to join us oh, for a bit of driving. Yeah, there, there's a museum that we have done. We'll put a card to that. Yeah, uh, really we already put that card up already. Beautiful <laughs> museum in there. That gorgeous forest. Wow, there's an amazing temple. I wonder if we can I know one of them here is on the heritage map, but I'm not sure if it's this one. This is massive, I actually want to go and have a look. Yeah. See if we can find some parking down here. Oh my word, this is quite amazing. We were going to turn around to go back to see that temple. But this is an old sugar mill. I remember last time we were here, we were desperately trying to find this. And there is actually also a chimney. I have no idea what this building would have been used for. It's got like a dome on top and it's got slats on the side. Maybe it was used for drying something? I don't know, I don't know. It does have a door. I can get my hand in. It looks like there are loads of holes in the wall. Obviously tons of pigeons are now living in there. And there's a ladder going up. Oh, I can turn you around and see like that. Interesting. That, I think, is the Riviera Le Chou chimney. The place where we actually are is closer to where Beauvalon sugar mill used to be. Beauvalon? Beauvalon, like the, the super, the shopping center. Oh! But that one's chimney doesn't exist. This is a really interesting old building. Because you can see the, the stone on the top there. They would have been used for decking, but it doesn't look like that's what was used here. I don't really know how old this place is because it was a surprise to find it. We didn't expect to be here. Looks like they're doing some sort of um, recycling project or something here. But no one's here at the moment. But great bits of reclaimed wood. I wish someone was here. Yeah, when it comes to reclaimed wood, look at that piece. You could make a dining room, a boardroom table out of that. Yes, yeah, so if anyone knows what business this is. Yeah, they're doing a lot of recycling and stuff. They've got old doors, wood. There's lots of people that are looking for this. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, wow. and there's a way station. What is those things? What is those things? Good English. What is those things? <laughs> totally going back there. But right now we're going down this road because I think it takes us to the chimney. You're a little bit loose with your description of road, bro. <laughs> I won't subject you guys to more of that. Susie can handle it by herself. <laughs> there is a massive chimney, right? All the way up there. It does say AD 1907 right there. But look at this. <gasps> Oh wow, it goes all the way down, all the way down there. What a beauty. We don't normally get to see where the chimney actually starts because we're actually at the level. So we can actually see detail on the bottom here that you wouldn't normally see. And what beautiful brickwork. That's the aqueduct, it keeps going. And below is the river. I'll lift you guys up and you can see river and aqueduct. Sweet, sweet smelling pink flowers and so many honeybees. Marburg police station. So I'd say guys uh, a wander around Marburg is probably not something that you can actually do but you can definitely wander around the, the waterfront area. The waterfront is fine to wander around. This and there's loads and loads of history. 
loads of history. We just crossed the washerwoman place. And they're just these brown signs everywhere. Yeah, it's really well laid out for a history tour. So I suppose yeah. a good history tour. There's a bridge. It's actually something bridge. There's a brown sticker for it. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Big river. <laughs> and if you want to know that way up the river is the sugar mill chimney. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They've done something funny to the road. They like cut this weird pattern into the top. Yeah. Like instead of a traffic bump, they've sort of. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what they did. Something, something. They have some great old houses here. Shops, shops, I mean. Yeah. There were houses, I'm sure, in the day. No, they were always shops, eh? Well, it be government school. And a beautiful old building. I don't think the government school there. I think there are clearly points down there. Yeah. It's a thumbnail. Still on Mauritius Island. Way down south, where bananas and coconut trees grow. There's Marburg. And that's where we are. It's a big place. Big place. Wow, Marburg, full of history and of course great foods. Well, anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. See you again next time.